When I worked in Vittendale, I really felt like, at first I felt like our charge was like, okay, you know, you know, clean this up, which I hate that, but, but regenerate this. And I always, at first I thought about that as just like, okay, that's the next step and that's it, you know? And, you know, I've looked back at it and just say, no, that was, it was almost the next, I say shift, you know, that we were taking on the next shift. You know, the workers did their th thing, now we're gonna do the next thing. And, you know, that landscape is gonna just keep going in terms of different people and different things working. The industrial sites that I visit are pretty difficult to interpret, or at least to interpret to the folks who, if they're still alive, right, to really have them understand that these are cultural landscapes and that they aren't just kind of a chunk of, you know, dead stuff, a carcass. That there's just so much still within those landscapes, namely the people who work there. And that's kind of a thing that's difficult to do, right? Because you can go down the nostalgia rabbit hole very quickly. And I think that's why I've always gravitated towards the, the material evidence. You know, it's almost like I've always felt like I look at a piece of concrete and that it's impregnated. You know, I mean, it's a bonus when I find one with a, you know, a boot, you know, uh, imprint. But irregardless of that, there's something about what I've always endeavored to do is to situate that evidence enough that folks recognize it. Whether or not they're any that direct, you know, part of that history, you know, but to see that landscape again as alive. Ah, that's better than healed. I hate that healed thing, you know that it's still alive, you know, again, it's those cycles. Uh, and they see that, you know, sometimes, you know, that it's not real obvious, you know, but I refuse to put up a sign, you know, um, explaining it, um, which is hard too, you know, right, to, to try to tell a story without, you know, any text, um, but just through these cues, right, that one can find. I love thinking about those things, those landscapes as alive. Again, as kind of, you know, cultural machines, not just, you know, machines that make steel. You know, cultural machines that, you know, make entire families dependent upon it and da da da. So, I mean, what, and what a cool thing to discover and feel. I mean, Vittendale to me still is the project that I feel just launched dirt and really um, even still defines its trajectory.